Club Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay only in the purest of white light and highest of vibrational energy. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light once again. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled. Anything your enemy gain off of you, off of your energy, without your permission, it is being taken from them. It is taken from them as we speak and being returned to you as this is justice. This is fair and balanced being brought into the situation. Okay. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get our angel message. Okay. It says, you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here with our tarot reading. Okay, that's what we're here to find out. We have the full source out here followed by the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be receiving some type of opportunity or there's some type of balance being brought into a situation. Um, this is something you may not be aware of. So this is something that's going on in the background of you. So there's some type of balance, right? Something has been revealed in the background about something a family did or someone or something a queen of pentacles may have done to cause some type of stagnation in your forward movement or this could have been another energy, whoever it is. You yourself, you are showing up as the queen of pentacles in here, maybe because you're focused on your pentacles, focused on your path, you know solidifying certain aspects of your life that has to do with your finances and things like that. You could be receiving some type of elevation or promotion in life, which is going to be some type of good news. There could be a family working together or a couple working together. You could end up partnering up with someone. Um, maybe there's a family working together to bring balance into a situation. You may have someone that maybe wants to apologize to you for something that they may have done uh, as far as collaborating with a group of people or collaborating with a couple to hinder your forward movement, your new beginning. But with this zero out here, this means that your new beginning is ensured. It is protected, okay? So there's not really much anyone can do at this point. There was some type of trap to have you stuck in something. Well, right now, the people that were working against you are stuck in their mind because you're still being given this new beginning. You could have an emperor in this situation that wants to work with you, may want to make an offer to you. Yeah, you have someone behind the scenes that may want to make an offer to you because they see you from a higher perspective. They're having some type of different understanding of the situation and what has really been going on. So behind the scenes, a lot has been unraveling and you may not know some of you yes something has been illuminated or the truth has been illuminated which is leading to some type of change in your life in your path on your path in your destiny whatever this is or between you and someone you may receive some type of communication about this but there is an emperor behind the scenes that may have some type of interest in you and is choosing to bring some type of um uh, 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 what is it? He's trying to bring balance, uh, trying to fix something, make amends with you, right? Just, uh, have some type of closure with you, give you what is yours, or make you some type of offer because he may be interested in working with you, wants to sail onto calmer waters. Someone has been healing behind the scenes and people didn't know. You may have had an option into different emperors or maybe a few different masculines were interested in you. One of the emperors in here will be someone that's not quite healed and has not put in the work to do that. And the other emperor is someone that has been quietly healing behind the scenes. And this is someone that has some type of interest in you so he'll be taking some type of action to come towards you no one knows when this masculine is going to do this so this is something that's been hidden from you and the people that are in this situation so i wouldn't hurt your little head about it trying to figure out when this man is coming towards you but whenever he does decide to come to you it's going to be something that will be successful people won't be able to interfere there may be something going on here where as well 
this emperor is kind of laying down the law he is deciding to make it clear to these people that this is the direction i'm taking that is final so someone is taking charge of their life and this has a lot to do with the fact that they have taken the opportunity to address those inner wounds within themselves so unlike the unhealed emperor one has really been doing the work behind the scenes but quietly because of the people that's around him they, they don't care about things like that these are people that are very vain very superficial they focus on more so of the material things in life so someone has been quietly quietly healing behind the scene in order to bring balance into their life yeah they've been very vigilant about this very careful about this cautious not really talking to people about it they may be watching you in some way shape or form or just keeping track of you making sure that you're making sure that you are okay and everything is going well with you so you can expect to hear from this emperor someone sees you in a very high light and they may want to work with you in order for you to to prosper in life um i don't know if there's a energy in here i just saw something like just psh, or just psh. If you need help transitioning, let me know. But the wish, wish, wish that you ask me nuts. Okay? If you need help transitioning, knock on the wall twice. I'll know so I can help you. But I can't help you if you're just in here playing games with me. Anyway, so this emperor um, has been healing quietly. Uh, it's trying to see things from a higher perspective and this is something that maybe your ancestors have something to do with and their ancestors as well um, so whatever plan these people have been having to have you trapped in something block your forward movement block your abundance interfere with your dreams or you even having your wish fulfillment it's not happening so the universe is advocating for you as this masculine is also advocating for you and himself this some there's something here about a union that's going to be yeah look at that <laughs> he came out he came out he said you keep talking about me so i might as well show up in this reading here i am here i am bold and assertive here i am um there could be something in here about a union between you and this person and this could be a union that's very destined to be abundant and this kind of abundance is not something you can even comprehend it's less stupendous how abundant these two people are meant to be or are going to be when they come together it's ridiculous this man is already solid in life but the amount of abundance he's about to garner or gain when you two come together is out of this world and people may know that so this is why they've been trying to cause some type of hindrance people could think that something is wrong with this man because of his mindset you could have a king of wands a king of king of wands the King of Wands came out. So this means you have a lot of masculines in here that may be interested in you, but they're not able to come towards you because they're not, they haven't done the work. That inner work, they have not done it. You're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the page of, uh, page of Cups and things like that. So that means you're someone that's very solid, straightforward, very much focused on your pentacles. You're, you're emotionally balanced. Like you're balanced in every way, shape, and form. But the masculines, a lot of them that are interested in you just having done the work to you. And some of them are going through some type of ending. Whatever plans are coming up with it are just devious. Someone here just kind of abuses their power and things like that. And this emperor as well that I was talking about that is not willing to do the work. There he goes showing up in here as well. Someone is a liar. Someone is a brute. Someone, you know, abuses their power. Someone is very vain. Um, someone's very aggressive with energies and things like that. And he sees you as a queen of cups and he may know that you have some type of spiritual gifts or spiritual favor on your life. So you are able to manifest a lot of the things that you want or the universe kind of spoils you. So this person knows that you have this ability or you have this favor on your life. So they may want to partner up with you in order to be able to utilize that. So someone basically sees you, listen, everything is coming out in the reverse for these people so basically someone sees you as a cat cash cushion or whatever the young folks call it i don't know what that statement is but they just see you as a money symbol like something 
that can make money for them. They don't have any type of genuine intention for you. And this is being revealed to you. So you need to be mindful. If someone like this come into your energy, someone is very deceitful. They present themselves to be an emperor on the surface. But behind the scenes, they are very dishonest, very shallow, uh, mentally unstable as well. You see, we have to think of source in the reverse and the ace of source in the reverse. This means that this is someone that is just cold-blooded, cold-hearted. They don't operate from their heart space. Things that have things that have to do with the with the heart mat matters of the heart does not it are not like important to this person okay like this is someone who love is like on the last it's like the last thing on the list okay what they care about is money and there's some type of jealousy as well because they know this person that's coming towards you genuinely cares about you and you're going to genuinely care about them so this is not a uh this is not a relationship they're going to be able to interfere with this is letting me know then that these two masculines are aware of each other you have a couple of other masculines behind the scenes you could have a king of cups a king of wands as i mentioned him earlier so he wants to be present in this reading he may come out so it's a lot going on behind the scenes with everybody you have a queen of pentacles that's being uh reviewed as a liar as well someone thought she was going to have some type of offer or new beginning some type of victory over you but it looks like it's not happening what's really happening is that people are seeing the truth about this woman and all of the devious things that she's been doing behind the scenes to interfere with your new beginning your new offer anything you're committing yourself to someone has been taking action to interfere with it even maybe even trying to uh, uh steal some type of uh, business business idea or something like that from you but it's not working throughout all of these challenges and things like that you stay focused you've maintained your independence you've maintained that positive energy about you i did say something about manifestation you two are powerful manifestors you have the gifts of manifesting you and your emperor the one in the upright the one that has been doing the work to heal behind the scenes the both of you are powerful manifester so you have some type of contract together that is just going to be abundant absolutely abundant stupendously abundant okay but the truth is being revealed about you and everyone in here uh people have been doing something where i don't know if like they're collaborating um, behind the scenes to make something or someone look like what they are not and now communication is coming in um, and it's revealing some type of truth to you just on just how far this matter went or what the details or specifics are about the situation um you could have a privileged lady out here sending some type of communications as well to someone it's a whole lot going on while they're doing doing all of this honey you are focused on your path. You are focused on your pentacles. You are focused on your business. If you have a business, you're focused on your family friend, making sure that your family is doing okay. And you're going through some type of acceleration, correct? Um, whatever actions people took behind the scenes to interfere with your work, to interfere with you, with you being able to manifest this abundance, this relationship, whatever it is, it's all being corrected. And this may be something you don't know is taking place, but it's being corrected. And it's something where when the correction is made, it may seem like it's something that happened overnight, but it's not. Something is being done gradually uh, on your behalf. There's an emperor that's maybe advocating for you on your behalf as well behind the scenes. And that is because this person is going through some type of awakening, whereas the other one is still dealing with those wounds or refusing to deal with those wounds of the inner child so kudos to this person that's doing the work this could have been some type of i don't know competition or you know someone just didn't have uh the full scope of what was going on when it has to do with this collaboration between all of these people someone is now realizing that people were working against them this whole time um, and they thought they were surrounded by friends and family, but they're realizing that they've been, you know, surrounded by enemies the whole time. Uh, wolves in sheep clothing and things like that. I'm telling you, your emperor, whenever they decide to come towards you, will be victorious. And this is someone very logical. I'm telling you, this man is going through some type of change. He probably never thought he would be able to do as well. And this is because of your ancestors, the heavenly host 
his ancestors as well, stepping in to give him some type of assistance to reveal something to him, maybe something about this contract, and maybe you two having some type of contract that goes back past lifetimes. This may be your soul twin, twin flame. Um, maybe there's something where he's a little older than you this lifetime, and this is for security for you. So you're showing up as a queen of cups, meaning that you are someone who's a little bit more free-spirited, you kind of do things your way and as you can see we have the empress at the bottom so maybe you appear to be a queen of a queen of cups so i was about to say queen of swords that means you're every queen in the deck girl look at you congratulations on your achievement but predominantly you may show up as a queen of cups and this man feels very protective of you so this is part of the reason why he will be a little bit more older than older than you this lifetime because he's going to be your protector. Someone is going to be very protective of you to the point where people may think there is not a healthy relationship. But this is going to be maybe one of the most healthiest relationships in the world. But looking outside, from the outside looking in, it may look a specific way, but this man is just going to be making sure that you are safe and taken care of. It's also letting me know that he's aware of something that you have been going through as well with a group of people or just some type of malicious character. And this is going to be part of the reason why he's also so protective of you. But don't be fooled. Make no mistake. This is, make no mistake, this is going to be someone that's there to make sure like all of your needs are provided, you are content in life, you don't need for nothing, you know, uh, you never have to even wonder what is going on. So this is someone that's basically coming in to help you heal and you're going to help this person heal in some way as well. Um, so this is just going to be a beautiful dynamic and I think this is what people know and it's bringing up some type of jealousy in the people around him because they know even though you are an empress right you are very loving you're genuine you're going to be genuinely interested in this person not because of the money they have or whatever it is they have you're going to genuinely love this person and care for them so even though he's going to be, be there protecting you you're going to be protective of this person in your own ways i mean you're a queen of cups how much protection can you really do? <laughs> and then I'm hearing something of our stature. You may be a little bit on the petite side when it comes to this man. But nonetheless, he's going to be very respectful of you. So this is not something where you have to wonder about someone, you know, being abusive of their, like, their power, their stature. Like, he's bigger than you, so he tries to overpower you, use his, you know, manpower you or something like that. It's nothing like that. Someone is going to be very gentle with you, but stoic at the same time. This is one of those people when the rest of the world sees him, he looks like he's always serious, never cracks a smile or anything. But behind closed doors, this man is going to be in touch with his inner child. You two are going to be goofing off behind the scenes. People are going to think in publicly, is it how do these people how do these two people even get along that she's all happy all the time and he's always stoic that's how it's supposed to be you two are going to balance each other out i don't know why i'm getting so much on this relationship what in the world is going on i feel like two soulmates are about to meet and something is going to be very beautiful and abundant not just in finances but just in spirit in energy just just naturally like the healing the energy the vibe is just going to be on point right so, and this is a divine union, right? I keep seeing the judgment card out here. This means that spirit, the universe is intervening in this situation on the behalf of both of you. There could have been something where people were interfering with you to being able to communicate with one, one another. Maybe this person tried to communicate with you before and there was some type of blockage or hindrances going, taking place. Um, maybe this is because his family didn't want him uh, uh, connecting with you so they may have blocked communications between the two of you. There could have been something where I don't know if his mother or ex-wife, some some female dominant female in his life wanted him to connect with someone else that was toxic on the toxic side um instead of connecting with someone <clears throat> that's you listen i was about to say that and i choked for a second so someone didn't want that coming out either his mother or some female in his life did not want him connecting with a genuine energy okay because they knew that you were going to heal him 
But regardless, your exposure or his exposure to you or him has led to some type of healing. It led to some type of awakening in this masculine. So even though you're not around, he's been doing the work to heal and this is leading to his victory. Okay. And as I said, this could be someone that's financially stable in life. Um, but he may want to be cautious because there's a lot of energies around him that do not want him to be successful, have a successful relationship. They said, why do you get to have everything? Why do you have why do you get to have the Queen of Cups, the Empress? Why do you get to be happy? Why is it's jealousy? But this union is protected. This is something that's destined to be. You two could very well be soul twins, soul mates. Right, you two separated from source at the same time, and your angels are moving on your behalf, they're making sure that everything goes accordingly. They're not playing about this union. The fact that this masculine was willing to do the work and put an end to all of this toxicity with these people, because I get that there are family members in here and he's familiar or he's familiar with these people. So this could be friends, families, just long-time acquaintances that he's getting away from to have some type of new beginning. I'm telling you, he's staying vigilant of these people, protecting himself, may even be keeping his distance from a lot of these people. As far as even mental, not talking to them about his plans anymore, moving in silence because mm, too much has been revealed to him. I'm telling you, he's protected. This person is secure. This person is secure. Like, he's being protected from these people. Even if he's still around them, he's being protected from their devious ways, their malicious way. They may be trying to mentally play with him, still trying to play mental games with him, get him to second guess himself and things like that. But this man does not care. He's not listening to anything these people have to say anymore. It's like someone already sees what they need to see. Something has been revealed to them by spirit. Spirit has made a judgment and he has uh, answered the call. So in a way, this man is like a phoenix rising from the ashes. When it comes to his healing, when it comes to his ascension, he is definitely going through some type of ascension and he never saw this coming. He would have never guessed in a million years that this would be happening to him and the people around him as well would have never guessed that he would be going through this. So they're competing with him behind the scenes. One, to keep him stop, to keep him blocked, stop, whatever, in some type of toxic environment and in some type of toxic relationship. He doesn't want that. And then you may have other masculines around him that are competing for you. But you're not interested. You may not even be, you're one of those people where like you see people and you just know they're not for you, whether it's a friend or some type of romantic interest, you just know they're not for you. So these masculines competing with this emperor for you is ridiculous because they they don't have a soul contract with you and you're not willing to lower your standards to be, to partner up with people that are not willing to heal. And I'm not saying lower your standards as far as you're better than these people. It's just the mindset. Healing is not a priority of these people. Genuine love is not a priority of these people. They're just seeing you as someone who's a manifester, very abundant, very you know, secure within yourself, committed to your path, right? And that's, that's the only reason they want to get with you. They may find you to be very beautiful as well, very different, mature, different from the women that they are accustomed to. Like they know you are an empress, but the reasons they're wanting to get with you are not legitimate. They're not good enough reasons. That some, someone in here literally just wants to sleep with you and then put an end to it. Someone does not really care about your value. But there's some type of spiritual aspect to this. It could be like two royalties coming together. Like two different, two royal bloodlines reuniting. And this is why spirit is so heavily involved in this relationship. To make sure that it does come together successfully. Because two, two lineages are being healed. They're being restored back to abundance. So the feminine energy in here... You could be very abundant spiritually, um, but it has not manifested in the physical. And this union coming together is going to help you manifest your spiritual abundance into physical abundance. And this is part of the reason also why you have people working against you. But all of this is done with. 
like all of this uh, hesitation, this, these blockages and stagnations are done. You two are secure to come together. You're being protected and things like that, right? Uh, it, this masculine needed time because he needed time to go through healing. I'm telling you, he needed time to go heal through healing. This is coming in the reverse with this King of Swords because you're not going to be working with this King of Swords. I don't know who this is, but there's something going on with him behind the scenes. Someone fell from grace, basically, right? Lost his protection. This is someone that's a brute, okay? He does not care about equal give and take. Someone sees you as a cash cushion as well. There's something about him that wanting to have some type of control over a... Uh, uh, energy of feminine energy so he sees you as a queen of cups he may see you as naive so he more so wants to have control over you but your actual emperor is not trying to control you like someone knows you being free to be you is something that's very important especially when it comes to you being able to manifest and if there are other people that are wanting you to manifest something for them whether it's healing finances and things like that that's the energy that you need to be in that healing energy free freeing energy right to be able to manifest yeah this energy this is what you need to be in but there's a brute in here that wants to come in and you know control you and he's been doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your life causing you blockages and putting an end to any type of offers and opportunities for you and he thought this was going to seclude you and make it and have you so confined and constricted to the point where he would be the only one to come in and give you an offer yeah that didn't take that that's not happening it's not happening Okay, so because of the actions, I'm telling you, it's not happening. Spirit put an end to that. Like they dead that situation. Because of the way he went about things is why he's not having a new beginning with you. He's going through some type of death. And it could be in his finances, his health or something, his mental. Someone could be facing some type of, I don't know, legal issues and things like that behind the scenes. Or just going through some type of exposure where his family's friends, colleagues are going to be seeing him for who he is. And they're going to be seeing the fact that he was working against you, may have been manipulating people, telling them that you're illiterate, you're incompetent, don't know what you're doing. Someone took some type of drastic and impulsive action quite too many times to interfere with your image to other people and now it's coming to bite him by back bite him in the behind because now people are going to have a lot of uh, questions for him that he does not have answers to is that why did you tell us this person was dumb why did you tell us this person didn't know what they were doing someone may have even assumed that you were naive and it has led to some type of ending for them People tend to think like the Queen of Cups is very naive. The Queen of Cups are not naive people. They're never naive. The gentle, the genuine ones, they're never naive. What they do is just mind their business. They just mind their business. They're in a loving energy. And if they feel that you're not in a loving energy, they're not going to go back and forth with you about that. They're just going to let you do you. So this man may have been doing something and he thought that that Queen of Wands, Queen of um. Uh, Queen of Cups did not know what he was doing as far as you, but you knew the whole time and you just let him, you know, kind of martyr himself, sink himself, you know, dig his own grave. And now he has to answer for that. And this person is that whatever opportunities you are supposed to be receiving, if you like need, if you are getting like a new work opportunity, love opportunity, something, he's been interfering with that behind the scenes. Because, again, he wanted to be the only one to make you an offer. And Spirit said, no, you cannot make them an offer because you're disingenuous. You have ulterior motives. Someone could have even been trying or planning to have you out of here in some way, shape, or form. He got very desperate behind the scenes because he thought, oh, well, she's the Queen of Cups. I can just go in and manipulate her. So he started doing all these devious and malicious tactics. They weren't working. So he got desperate and started doing some horrendous things behind the scenes. Uh, for some of you, someone may have even hired someone to come in, take you out. They couldn't. There's something supernatural going on behind the scenes with some of these people. They don't know how to explain it. Some of them are still planning and planning to come in and do you something, but it's not going to end in their favor. At this point, this is just like someone cutting off their nose to spite their face. It's just, it's going to go against them. And the time and time again, we keep doing these readings and these types of people will watch the readings. 
but still go and take actions. And because the consequences don't come the same day or the next day, they think they're in the clear. That's not how it works. It's coming and it's going to come when you least expect it. This is how karma works. Karma always comes when you least expect it. There are times where the karma is immediate. It's that you have to feel it right now because it's essential that you feel it right now. Okay, there's a reason why it's happening to you right after you did what you did to them, right? Uh, you, like think about someone being mean to you for no reason and then they walk out and stump their big toes and they have to go and get their toes taken care of because it ends up getting like infected or something. That's that's immediate karma. This person here, because they didn't experience immediate karma, they kept going with something. And it could be now that the karma they're facing is so huge, like they can't even talk to people about it. Like they're mute. Someone is very burdened behind the scenes because they can't have a new beginning with you because they've been interfering with a lot of new beginnings for you, a lot of opportunities and things like that. So honey, Ooh, it's a whole lot. I've been seeing Queen King of Wands a couple of times, and here he goes on the bottom. So let's see what in the world is going on with him. I'm not getting a good vibe from him. This could be someone that's absolutely karmic. Maybe this is someone you were friends with in the past. Maybe you had some type of uh, contract with this person, but someone is very um karmic, right? Very karmic. Yeah, he's very karmic. But whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, honey, the disappointments that she's going through are just unbearable for her. Someone could be losing their mind behind the scenes, like spazzing out on people. Like she thinks she's going to have a heart attack or some type of panic attack or something. This is how angry she is. Like someone is spazzing out behind the scenes. What do you mean she's not trapped? What do you mean you're going back to her, going forward to her? What do you mean you're giving her an offer? No. Like someone is losing it behind the scenes losing it she's been carrying this facade for a long time and it's not being like no one is buying it anymore people see the truth i'm telling you people see the truth these people are heartbroken because two people are still coming together and are still going to be committed to one another i'm telling you and they're moving on with their life they're both supported by the universe. And both of you have manifested this new beginning. I'm telling you, you're both manifestors. Both of you. Both of you are in our business savvy. Both of you are financially like focused on your pentacles and things like that. Growth, self-improvement, right? Both of you are focused on manifesting a new reality for yourself. And it's going to be something very abundant. Okay? very abundant so whatever plans your enemies have been you know coming up with there's some type of interference where they are being disappointed they cannot interfere with this connection the auto hocus pocus that's been taking place has been for some type of revelation to take place so that this man can learn the true character of the people around him because this is someone that was loyal to these people and he's been shown that you cannot be loyal to people just because one, they're your friend, your family, you've known them for, known them for 10 years, 20 years, uh, 30 years, whatever this is. Just because you're loyal to them does not mean that they're loyal to you. Okay? He may have had some type of uh, feminine energy around him. Maybe she was even placed there to watch him. Yeah, to watch him. And now they're going to get to watch him to walking away, moving away. But he's going to do this when they least expect it. And I just literally heard something, but I'm not going to say it because, sir, you are too petty. That That's some petty stuff to be doing. That is some petty stuff to be doing. But they're gonna, it's going to be like when they're least, yeah, when they least expect it, right? Least expect it. I'm telling you, when they least expect it. And it's going to catch them off guard. And by the time he do, does it, it'll be even too late for them to find out what he's doing, basically. So something lets me know as well, then they are watching this person like a hawk. Every move he makes, they're watching him. Everything he does, they're watching him. So they could have been holding this person trapped just so that he wouldn't take this action to come towards you. Look at this, honey. He takes the action. You two come together. Success. Success. Abundance. 
I'm telling you, this is a union that's meant to be very abundant. Very abundant. And people don't want him to have that, but he's taking action. He's taking action. Okay? Like, he has foresight of the situation. Yeah. He's taking action. He's taking his power back. He's moving forward. He has foresight of the situation. No one is able to manipulate this person anymore. And no one can manipulate you either. People see that you are someone who your independence is very important to you. And your, your um, not your enemies, your ancestors are making sure that you maintain their independence until you and this person connect and move on with your life. And you both have foresight of this situation. The frenemies, enemies... Uh, family is family enemies. I don't know what to call them. They know that they can't do anything anymore. They're throwing fits behind the scenes, arguing with each other. It does not matter. It does not matter at this point. At this point, everybody knows that this is coming into being. This is where it's headed. This is where it's headed. Okay, there's nothing they can do to block this. This man has made his decision. There could be something here about some type of religious practices and things like that. Yeah, everybody knows it's coming into being and they're not happy about it behind the scenes. Like the stagnation has been taking place long enough. Okay. It has been taking place long enough. I'm telling you, you have quite a few masculines behind the scenes. They have been competing with this person. Someone has taken charge of their life. And people are pissed off about that. The fact that he even thinks that he should be with you. They're pissed off about that. And this is because of your ranking in the spirit realm. They know of you. Not in details. Not specifically. But they know you're very high ranking. And the fact that that masculine even believed that he was worth your time. Pissed someone off or pissed them off. But he did the work. If he did the work, that's all that matters. Like his ancestors told him what he needed to do in order for this union to come together. And he did it. So I don't even know what it is that you're pissed off about. If you want to have a true union, be willing to heal. Fish your, your demons. But these people don't want to do that. Okay? They don't want to do that. You two are very powerful beings. Very powerful. And it may be a, a little bit terrifying for people. And this is why they're so set on destroying this union from coming together. And it's still coming together. Like people are doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to destroy something. If you have a business collective, they are doing things to interfere with their business. And it's going to cost them a lot too. Every time they take from you, they're losing something. And they're losing something worse than what you're losing. And it's, it goes back to a reading I did where I said the, the damages these people can do to you are temporary. But the damages you and your ancestors can do to these people are permanent. They're not th things that they can recover from easily. Like once they're out, they're out. Flat out. And you have a feminine energy in here. There's actually a couple of them are going through some type of ending. Things that they were showing for you. Is that I want to send them a message. That someone is trying to send you a message to, to make you aware of some type of betrayal. Maybe a masculine energy took against you. And you don't really even care. This is that, oh. If you go towards her, I'm going to send her a message to let her know that you betrayed her. Nobody cares, honey. You can send all the messages you want to collective. That's why collective is the one with the foresight, the gifts. Because you obviously are a dum dumb that don't understand. So someone is blackmailing someone in this situation. They are blackmailing a masculine. Either this is a feminist, blackmailing a masculine, or something. Maybe he did something in his past that he, she's holding over him. They may have even tried to get this person locked up because he tried to come towards you before. Just all kinds of craziness. All kinds of craziness. 
and they're all watching you work. They're all watching you grow and they're all burdened, especially this queen of pentacles. Someone is very burdened and they're going to keep taking actions to interfere with you two coming together. Someone is burdened because of a betrayal, a plan. Yeah, to cause you an ending and this came out sideways. Either way, it's going to come out like it's supposed to. Someone is burdened because of actions they took against you. Either to block your growth. If you have a business that was going to explode, they block that. If you were supposed to have an offer in work, they block that. An offer in love, they block that. The people are still determined to block two people from coming together. And it just does not make sense. Why are they disinvested? It is because of the amount of abundance that's supposed to be garnered in here. You two are going to have a child when you come together as well. This masculine does want to have a child. But the child that's destined with him, he cannot just have that child with anyone. It's for, by a specific energy, which would be you, because this child is going to be gifted. And you're the only one that will be able to understand this child on that level and be able to help them manage those gifts and abilities. Okay, this is part of the reason why you two are coming together for a specific child to be born. No one else can have this child. Any other child he has with people, yeah, they're special. <laughs> yeah yeah they're special but this specific child there's a calling on this child's life that has to do with the global the global population with the global population and someone is also he like you and this person coming together is going to be uh it's going to be symbolic of light and dark coming together because this is someone that's coming from a dark background, like some type of dark magic, dark practices, something like that. You come from the light. So you two coming together is the combination of yin and yin coming together, light and dark, like the balance within the universe, universal balance. So then this child being born is symbolic of that as well, a balance of dark energy and a balance of light energy. So this is a, a union that's a little bit more uh, important than maybe people even understand. But all they're really seeing is the financial aspect of it, the abundance, the money. That's all they see. But there is something a little bit more spiritually important to this union that people don't realize. And this is why you have ancestors on his side and your side working together tirelessly to make sure that this union comes together, to make sure it comes together. So he's leaving something behind. He's leaving some type of, I don't know, uh, uh, whatever this is, his relationship or his collaboration with these people, he's leaving it behind and he's walking away. Someone is going through a dark night of the soul. And he's okay with it because he knows when he comes out on the other side, he's going to be okay. He's going to be healed. He's going to be a better version of himself. He, you know, is going to be wiser. Yeah, he's going to be wiser. This man finds you to be very beautiful. Very, like, you're a bit feisty is what he's saying. Like this firecracker here, that's what he calls you. Yeah, like you bring joy to this person. Like he sits back. If he has like any view of you, I don't know if you two work together or you two, uh, um, I don't know if you socialize in some way, shape or form or he's watching you on social media, listening to you, something like that. But you bring joy to this person. And this is you two's justice. So whatever he's planning is your justice. It's your balance. Things are going in you all's favor. So you're basically all the queens in the deck. The queen of cups, queen of swords, queen of pentacles, uh -uh, and the queen of wands. 
he like someone is smitten by you they may see you as a muse like all he wants to do is just like be around you someone gets fulfillment just being around you like you two are going to be inseparable people won't be able to intervene this is one of those relationships where you don't even know what's going on people want to know the full one one but no one is giving them the tea it's one of those relationships okay dang dang like people didn't expect something like something that has to do with stagnation and blockages has been going on for a long time like there's been a lot of mental manipulation going on for a long, long time especially when it comes to this masculine i don't think he knew that there was some type of gatekeeping going on around him and he is going through some type of betrayal by these people i don't know if someone tried to steal from him someone tried to have him out of here because of the fact that he chose to move on or he's choosing to bring balance into a situation. There's something like that. So you and your masculine could be mirroring the same thing while people are trying to end you, they're trying to end him to prevent the two of you from coming together. And this is all because of greed and jealousy. You two have favor on your life. And this is because of the lineages you come from. But you have immense, immense favor on your life. Like your ranking in the spirit realm, baby. You two, your ranking in the spirit realm is no joke. Like you two have the authority to make judgment on other people's lives. You make judgment. Spiritual judges is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Dang. And you see how them. You see how the emperor sits on his throne? Very stoic, majestic, royal. Like, that, this man is sitting on his throne, not doing much. But you can feel the amount of authority and power this person holds just by looking at them. Like, his, his garment, like his wardrobe, what he has on lets you know yeah i've been through it all i had i know what i know i'm the the lord of the land what i say is what goes don't question my authority don't tell me what to do stay in your place and you won't have any problems this is someone that's very intellectual now if he was in the reverse that would be a different story but this man showed up here in the upright like, he's putting people in their place. But you can just, like, the stoicism, the, like, I don't even know what the word is, majestic. Like, there's just something about an, a true emperor when you meet them. Like, you just know. You're not afraid of them, but you respect them. And that's the difference people don't understand. When you meet a true emperor, you don't fear them, but you respect them because they have that energy about them. Because you know they're not BSing you around. They don't have to prove themselves. They don't have to do anything funny for you to feel that they are an emperor. You just know. You just know. And if you don't know, then you have some healing to do. But when you meet a true emperor, you don't have to wonder You'll just know. You'll be like you're naturally receptive to them. You're naturally respectful and kind and just yourself relax. And, and it's the same thing with the Empress. An Empress never has to announce their presence, their status. You're just naturally respectful to them. Like you'll just know that's an Empress. Like I don't need to fool with her. And people that go out of their way to fool with those people try to mess with them and things like that those are people that are on heel they don't realize they have a diamond they're still like being following the shiny things until they find out that they lost an empress but these kind of people the emperor and the empress when you're in their presence you know who you're in the presence of 
like you see like the empress when you see her she's all that just gentle she has that subtle uh, uh monarch monarchy look to her subtle power like you don't see her as aggressive she's not aggressive she's not authoritative but if you try her you'll find out and she's not going to get loud with you when she's exercising her power you'll just you just realize you effed up royally and you'll never do it again. That's how these people move. But these two here, not only do they have the power to manifest, they have the power to make judgment. So they have the authority. That lets me know wherever he's coming from, he's high ranking in that organization. That people respect him. They may not be happy about the decision he's making, but yeah, he has the authority to make that decision. So this is the two of you in the spirit realm and it's about to manifest in the physical. So you're going to be very influential and affluent as well. And this is what people are trying to put a stop to. What a beautiful story. This was a, man, this was a beautiful uh, a reading yeah we have a couple of karmics in here here and there we, we don't care the karmics are always up to something behind the scenes always up to something okay and they, they always will be that's how the that's how creation is set up the battle between good and evil is always going to be there no matter how what skill or what level it's on there's always going to be a battle between good and evil the only thing is good is always set to win that battle okay so let's go ahead and read our angel messages for the end of the reading it said expression comes naturally to you you are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits you are able to get others on board with your ideas i am charismatic I'm getting that from that person. I think he is. You may be too. Well, you ending up here as a queen of wands, you're somewhat very charismatic. <laughs> you're very charismatic. Like you're very beautiful. Someone finds you to be very beautiful. Like someone like stares. If they have pictures of you or they have like access to your social media, they can see you. Some Someone looks at your pictures a lot. They like your smile. Someone likes how you smile. Like this person is like, you're like a muse for this person. Like a muse for them. They love to watch you moving around. If you are in their energy, they like to see you. Someone, someone feels at peace just seeing you. They just like to see you. They like to see you, hear your voice, see you smiling. This will be one of the masculine where they'll like just give you something just to see you smile. Like they'll go and buy you a gift or they'll do something goofy just to see you smile. They said you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversations to your most prized projects. I am inspiring inspiring and charismatic apparently okay it said 444 trust did you this is all threes this is all threes three 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 four times three is twelve right right one plus two is three 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 what in the world So people are coming together. You're about to be connecting with your soul tribe. Abundance. Celebration. And then when you add the three, 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 six, nine, completion, something is done. Baby, you two have ended a chapter and you're about to be connecting. You're going to either be meeting your soul tribe or building your soul tribe, creating your own soul tribe, something like that. And it's going to be beautiful. It said, trust your journey and trust the way your life unfolds. And trust that you are where you need to be at this present moment. I am protected. Thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read.
Goodbye for now. I know.